What's up, YouTube? The YouTubers. This is Hoglockin Game bringing you the third tutorial, but episode two of the third tutorial, teaching you guys how to trick line properly. Right. Um, if you are clicking on this video and you haven't yet seen the first tutorial, I mean the first episode of this tutorial, then I highly recommend you going onto my channel and checking it out first, and then checking out the other videos too, of course, and then maybe subscribing to me, which will really help me out. Um, but um, yeah, so if you're just clicking on this and you haven't seen the first tutorial, then go and watch that first or none of this will really make sense to be honest. So yeah, right. Um, if I didn't say this already in the first um, episode of the tutorial, I don't think I did, but I'll say it now anyway. If you're in regular stance, then you always want to spin to the left when you're um, trick lining. Um, instead of t spinning to the right, it just doesn't work to the right as well. And if you're in goofy, you want to be trick lining, trick lining to the right, spinning like that. But I don't. I'm not in goofy stance. I'm in regular because I prefer it like that way. Doesn't really matter which stance you're in. It just uh, personal preference, really. Right. Um, also, if I didn't say this already in the first episode. I highly recommend when you trick lining that your difficulty is on easy for trick lining. Yeah, so you want it on easy when you're learning this, and you want to keep it on easy to be honest. Really, it's a load better for trick lining, I think. So, uh, in the last episode of the tutorial, I taught you guys how to do the nolly kick flip or nolly heel flip dark catch 360 with a mute or a sail. So yeah, I hope you guys have like got that dialed and you can do that real good. Um, but in this one, I'm going to be teaching you the other variations of the 360 mute or stale like dark catch stuff, like with the um, 360 hard flip dark catch, the nolly 360 flip dark catch, nolly 360 inward heel dark catch, uh, nolly 360 laser flip stuff like that dark catch. And basically, you want to learn all that as well. So like, I'll show you the some of them now so the nolly 360 hard flip dark catch will look like this like that and then the uh, nolly 360 flip dark catch will look like this like that and there's others but I can't be honest with you right to learn those flip tricks first without the dark catch you want to go over to your trick guide um, and then go over to flip tricks nolly flips and go down to Nolly 360 flip, you want to learn that really good. Uh, it's the opposite way on Goofy, of course, but I'm on regular. You also want to learn the Nolly 360 inward heel, um, Nolly laser flip, Nolly 360 hard flip, and yeah, that's it really, I think. So, yeah, once you've done them, and it's the same thing, as you're doing the flip trick, you press R1 and then remember to flick it out afterwards. And basically, once you've got it like really down every time, like you can just practice on one flip trick first. Like, let's say the Nolly 360 hard flip, get it every time like this. And then, once you can get that good, go into fakie, try it, and then get the 360 like before, like that, with the um, mute or the stale to get your spin real nice and clean. Right, that's the first part of the second tutorial done. So, you want to learn that real good. And the second part is the shifty seatbelt. Definitely not the seatbelt though. I want to emphasize that real good. So I'll show you. Right. Uh, first of all, I'll show you shifty seatbelt, of course. So I'll just show you off here. So look, shifty seatbelt. It says down in the left corner if you can't see. Um, right. You want to go to trick guide. Go on grab tricks, grabs. Um, go down to you find um, seatbelt right you want the this one here so it's point up with your right analog stick plus R2 and the, to the way you spin right that's really confusing me right but you don't use that Right, I'll just tell you anyway. Right, basically, with your um, right analog stick, you want to have your this analog stick to where you spin. So, say, because I spin to the left, I go like this. 
I press up on that and then I press L2 and that will get you a normal seatbelt I'll show you quickly right so go off the edge that gets you a normal seatbelt so I've got my right analog stick pointing upwards and then I press L2 you, you don't need to hold it you just tap it but yeah when I'm doing a shifty um, seatbelt what I do is I point it upwards and then I do a nolly pop shove it like that whilst doing that but you want to just do that and then like press L2 so like that so basically like that and I'll show you again so shifty seatbelt like that I'll show you with my controller again right right I'll do another shifty seatbelt so if you see it look I do up around and press L2 as well if you do this if you character does this it means that you're doing your L2 before the um, analog you want to do your analog stuff before the L2 just before not really after but just just before and then it will do this shifty seatbelt basically once you've learnt the shifty seatbelt you want to like incorporate it with the manual and the other stuff but first don't worry about the 360 half flip dark catch 360 stuff like that just do any old flip trick so I'll show you what I mean like this is what you want to learn first Whoa. so in fakey and then shifty seatbelt any flip trick and it will get you back into the manual really easy every time so like that and when you do the shifty seatbelt don't like really push up your controller really far or it won't land you in a manual you want it up a little bit like that so you like holding it into a manual what also helps when you're first learning it is to put on the manual meter so yeah put that on if you need it so like when you do it you make sure you're not like over spinning it like that it will just drop it straight away if you're doing it too much like if you point it up too much so yeah once you've got that and you land in the manual every time with the spin uh, you just want to keep practicing that and then you'll be able to incorporate it with the um, dark catch and the stuff like that like that so yeah just keep practicing it if you're not too com comfortable like when you first do the seat belt and stuff to put it in with the dark catch just do it without the dark catch and stuff just like do any old flip trick keep practicing it with the um, seat belt and stuff like that and when you like because you don't want to just carry it on forever when you finish it do your mute or you stay out and it pops you out nice like that same fakey so yeah that's the end of the t tutorial and I think I'm finished with the I don't think there's gonna be three episodes I'll quickly just show you the finished product when you should be able to do everything should look a bit like this so like that um, when you're doing it like online and stuff I recommend like changing the flip trick so like maybe do a 360 half flip dark catch and then maybe a nolly 360 flip dark catch because then you'll like get more points not doing the same trick will get you less points and what I also need to say is like not to get confused with um, this sort of trick lining and the like rise skateboarding stuff trick lining because that's different that's like non-competitive trick lining this is competitive trick lining theirs is like loads different so yeah that's the end of the tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you guys can now trick line keep practicing it it's quite hard it'll take quite a long time but once you nail it then you'll be able to get loads of points in like online team challenges stuff like that so yeah thanks for watching like this video if it helped and subscribe to my channel for more videos Peace guys, thanks.